Hi, Bernie. Hi. I see you've come with rope. I have. Oh. Oh. Hi. I'll go this way. Oh. Uh. Oh. Hi. How are you? I haven't heard it. Oh, hi. Would you believe that's the first time I figured out? Before I got your eyes. Oh, my gosh. You have people looking for you. Hi. Yes. Hey, you're coming with me. You realize this, right? Right now. I he know, just dude. doesn't want to go. I know. He's actually going for the job. <laughs> He's digging in down here. <laughs> I know. Oh. Hi. Yeah, just don't hit me with that. Oh, watch your face. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah. We're gonna stay there. We're gonna stay there. And we're gonna stay there. Let's get you back with everybody else. Goodbye, Mr. Coco. Ah. Hey, you. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue, and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. And I have a laundry list of stuff I didn't get around to this year. There's always something hanging out from last year. And today I'm going to deal with some of those things. Come on along. We'll begin here with the plantain oil. All right, so this is supposed to be um, olive oil infused with plantain. This is not the color. It has been in this jar and repeatedly shaken um, for about 10 months. I don't think it's infused. This oil really ought to be more green. It just looks like extra virgin olive oil, but I'm not sure if this would be any good. I'm super sensitive to bugs, so I kind of want something that'll keep me from scratching the hell out of myself um yeah this may hang out a little while longer and continue to get shaken at some point maybe i'll get around to the salve i mean it also i just i don't have a lot of confidence in it having infused the oil so i kind of i may start with a new crop um and just start over again i don't Next, I have some stuff that's been drying, honestly, much longer than it needed to. I have some coriander here. It's still attached to the branch, and isn't it gorgeous? So I'm gonna wanna get those berries out of there. And then I have all this barley. There are two different varieties here. This is black hulled barley. Um, and we've also got this purple hullless barley. You can see there's still some purple in there. The plan is to get in there and thresh and winnow these things. Different folks have different methods for doing this. I may employ a hair dryer. Very basically, I think I'm going to mash up a bunch of methods and see what I can do. So we want to thresh it. Uh, so I'm going to stick it in a pillowcase and then rough it up. Um, and then we need to winnow. And I think that's going to be a job for a hairdryer. Here we go. Come on. I got a big pile of barley here. Um, and I've got my coriander. I have raided the linen closet. These two implied they would like a spanking. We fill the sacks. It looks like there's a lot more here than there actually is. I'm just gonna put them all together in the same pillowcase. So this is holiday season by us. Um, and it has been a little bit chaotic. Not only do we have Hanukkah and Christmas, we've got Ooh, one, two, three, four, five birthdays between now and the middle of January. 
Um, my bad. Six birthdays for now. So it's been a lot of getting gifts together and enjoying new stuff as a family. This is Raina's first Hanukkah with us. We've been having a good time spoiling the kids a little bit extra um, because it's fun. All this to say, I'm a little behind the curve. Um, so I'm trying to be gentle with myself, allow myself grace for the things that got forgotten over this last season. Um, good friend reminded me that I would certainly not fault a friend in my situation. So maybe it's time to get off my own back, right? Anyway, I, I have, I am coming to understand that my ambitions, my ambitions are often greater than the amount of time in my days. So something's always gonna wind up at the tail end, unfinished. If we seriously wanna get dewy about it, like my year just started back in September. This is a bag of barley. This is a slightly more fragile bag of, oh, what the hell is in here? Coriander. Does that work? Wow. Holy crap. Y'all. You all, I gave this like five good wax, right? There just isn't that much dross in it. Okay. Let me clean this up a little bit. I don't think it's gonna take much. Oh my gosh, this bright citrusy smell is so good. So that is, I think I've got about tablespoon, five teaspoons worth maybe. Um, it This smells so good. I'm gonna wait to grind this until right before I use it because this is just, that's gonna stay super nice. So I'll put that in a glass jar. This bag is bigger and I feel the need to break it up with my hands. So I'm gonna do some of that. Um, they came here. Oh, you're beating up something? I am. What are you beating? I'm beating up some barley. Nice. I think that might be as separated as we really need it to be at this point. So we are outside now. And you can see it's a... Uh, you can see it's it's a real mixed bag. Whole bunch is coming out of the bottom. All right, let me figure out what a more efficient way to do this is going to be. Here's where the hair dryer comes in. Just have it on low. I think that's it. I think, I think that's it. Look at this beautiful thing. That'll be like a half cup here. Maybe more. Let's take it inside and find out. What are y'all doing? I'm baking cookies. Woohoo! Yeah. So all together, we got about, oh, I was gonna say a half a cup, but it's closer to two thirds of a cup. So we have options. We could A, um, fulfill half of a beef barley soup recipe, okay. or B, we could plant it. Plant it. Plant it? Plant it. 
Okay then, we shall plant it. Will it return an exponential crop? Well, yeah. Then yeah. Okay, but I don't necessarily have room to plant that much of it. Well, what are we gonna do about it? I don't know, I'm gonna have to expand. Yeah, I think so. You know what my favorite thing about being a mom is? I love it when the kid enables me in the garden. More land. Meat birds. Meat birds. Many cows. I want a cow so bad. We don't have a room. We don't have room for a cow. We do not have pasture. We don't have room for sheep either. And we don't have sheep. We don't have well, sheep. Well, but we could. We could have sheep, but we don't. We don't. They're surly. Mm, yeah, they the, are. the wool industry. Yeah, but they're surly. Okay. But I might be able to be talked into a tiny sassy pony one day. How about some turkeys? Donkey. Donkey. Or a donkey. Yeah. I love the idea oh, of a Bruce donkey. Y'all, if you have any experience with donkeys, let me know. Let me know. So if you have sheep and donkeys, the donkeys can carry around the baby sheep. That's a thing. <laughs> huh. Are, is this real? Yes, I'm not fucking with This you. isn't like Moose telephone pole? No. Oh my. All right. Well, let's say goodbye. I'll consider all these things. The frame. She is empty. My work here is done. Thank you so much for hanging out today while I got my wheat thrashed and thrashed and blown around. I will catch you up soon. Have a great holiday. Take care. As long as the list ends with the hound, you're good. It's true.